Ever since the beginning of cancel culture, there have been many people that have fallen victim and in the process lost tons of fans. Whether it was for an old insensitive tweet or some current controversy that they found themselves involved with, we documented a ton of these stories. Although sometimes a little controversy only makes the fans of these problematic creators even stronger and sometimes bold enough to make a return. That's why today we decided to count down the top 10 YouTubers we never thought would return. But first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin today's top 10. Coming at number 10, Vitaly. Vitaly, this guy has always been a bit wild and he finally got what was coming to him. This Russian American YouTube star is well known for his prank videos and wild public stunts. He had garnered over 10 million subscribers who tuned in for his sometimes raunchy, sometimes dangerous content. Not too long ago, he was arrested in Egypt for ignoring laws and scaling one of the pyramids. Then more recently, he was arrested in Miami after he allegedly attacked an unsuspecting woman who was just out for a jog. And according to the police report, Vitaly hopped out of his car and jumped in front of the woman with his arms open. He then tackled her to the ground Around, straddled her and punched the woman with closed fists in the face and chest numerous times while she screamed for help. Luckily, there were people in the area who immediately notified the police, which caused Vitaly to stop the assault. Per the victim's report, she was left with a two inch laceration above her right eye that required stitches. She also notified the police that she had never met the YouTube star, nor did she know who he was prior to the attack. But somehow, he just keeps uploading videos. Coming in number nine, PewDiePie. Fiverr is this site where you can find an online designer for your website or someone to make a logo for you and it'll definitely cost a little more than five bucks, but there are some things on there that actually cost five bucks, hence the name Fiverr. But as PewDiePie found out, you can definitely still get some things done for five dollars, including months of backlash from mainstream media. Back in 2017, Felix got himself into some hot water after he paid a couple of dudes from Sri Lanka to hold up an anti-Semitic sign. His point was that you could get a lot of things done on this platform for very cheap, but I suppose he was not ready himself when he got the final product. This one video led to PewDiePie being dropped by both Disney and Google that had set up deals with the YouTuber not too long before all of this went down. The editing. Subscribe to Keemstar. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry. I didn't think they would actually do it. And again, somehow he just ended up coming back and getting more than 100 million subscribers, I guess just because he has a really strong fan base. Coming in number eight, Cernato. The Grand Theft Auto 5 community on YouTube may seem like a niche thing, but it's actually a very popular section with its own top creators. One big contributor to this section was the YouTuber named Serendo, or Serendo with an E as he was formerly known. His channel had over 2 million subscribers and over 450 million views. He was also the type of YouTuber that posted a ton of clickbait, and in one in particular video, he alleged that someone from Rockstar Games had actually gifted him with an early copy of Grand Theft Auto. Although it was his fake money generating sites for the game that resulted in his account being terminated, but as as I mentioned, he came back and just dropped the E from his name and everything seemed to be fine. Hey, he's still doing the clickbait too. Coming at number seven, Mr. Technical Difficult. His real name is Kyle, but he's more commonly known as his online persona, Mr. Technical Difficult. Kyle gained an enormous online following with his chat roulette and Omegle videos along with his gaming and pranks. His first channel had hit more than two million subscribers, but was terminated for violating YouTube's policies. However, that is quite a broad spectrum when addressing why he was banned from the platform. It could possibly be that he had over tagged some of his video descriptions, which at the time YouTube was really cracking down on. Although in a video posted to his new channel under the name White Lightning Kyle, he he said that YouTube had removed him because they have a policy against underage users posting provocative content. So most likely the machine that they were using to do these terminations just caught him up in the mix by accident. And he had to make a new channel and then eventually come back. I never thought I'd saw him. I, I always thought that I was only going to see him on Facebook. But he's actually one that I'm happy to see back. In at number 6, Jake Paul. Jake already had some people beginning to hate him when he tried to sell a gambling service called Mystery Box to his young fans. This is way back. But the straw that broke the camel's back finally came when he decided to do some filming in Arizona. If you remember during the riots that took place in multiple areas around the US, Jake found himself on camera being handed a bottle of vodka that was stolen from a PF Chang's. Classy. Following that, he was arrested for unlawful assembly and trespassing after multiple eyewitness accounts notified the police. In addition to this, he had been investigated by the FBI, and although that is a pretty serious ordeal, it doesn't seem like even the threat of law enforcement has even affected the way that he behaves, nor his upload schedule. Coming in number five, Nikita Dragon. From James Charles to Jeffree Star, we've watched some of the YouTube's biggest beauty beauty vloggers not only start their own makeup lines, but open up brick and mortar stores for thousands of screaming fans. For Nikita Dragon though, she unfortunately caught the moment where she showed up with more people than were waiting for her store to officially open. A lot of this failure of a launching event came because fans were confused as to what exactly she would be selling. Before the store's opening, she only had three products available on her online store, leaving many to wonder if that's all that would actually be in the physical store. And to make matters worse, she even photoshopped her poster onto the TV in a photo that she took out outside of the store, which fans online spotted immediately once looking at the reflection on a nearby store window.
But even though that was super embarrassing, she still continues to upload content and still has tons of fans. Again, didn't think she could return from that. Coming to number four, Derv. A very young British YouTuber named Dylan McAvoy, who is better known by his online persona Derv, built his online following by similar clickbait methods as Serendo. His first account gained over 1.4 million subscribers, but was often criticized in the comments for his clickbait headlines. He did everything from fake gift card giveaways to enticing headlines just to build a following. Although this wasn't what got his account banned from YouTube. According to Derv himself, YouTube had said that it was due to him having violence in his videos. He goes on to say that the most harmful thing was probably a kid throwing a snowball at a car, which may seem harmful harmless from the point of the person throwing the snowball, but when you think about it, that's crazy dangerous. And if the snowball had ice in it, a window could have been broken, the snow could have covered the windshield, blinding the driver, leading to a crash. Just so much that shouldn't shouldn't be on camera. But it was interesting to see him be banned, he thought he'd never come back again, and then all of a sudden this new channel appeared with him explaining why he was banned. So I thought I'd put him in the list. A little off one from the usual people we talk about. Coming number three, Tana Mojo. This is the meet and greet check-in line. This is crazy. We there too. What? So you end up you end up right here, but you start way back here. It has been dubbed a disaster con, but it was really Tana Mojo's attempt at creating her own VidCon that inadvertently flooded the internet with tons of tea on this influencer flop. After making a video ranting about how Tana was done with VidCon, she promptly started working on her own version. Although she soon realized just how difficult it is to plan an event this big. Tana had booked out a 5,000 person venue, but to much of her surprise, 20,000 people showed up. And as you can imagine, it was an absolute disaster that was recorded the entire time. Fans were supposed to get cool gift bags that turned out to be just filled with stickers and condoms, and many of those who had paid extra for VIP tickets to meet their favorite YouTubers were disappointed to find out that they had to also register first online to do so, something that probably should have been in the fine print. Ultimately, after only six hours of the event, it was shut down due to overcrowding, and somehow she still keeps uploading and still has fans. Who would have thunk it? Coming to number two, Logan Paul. We're sure you're just as tired as hearing this story as the rest of us, but hey, what kind of list would this be without the infamous Logan Paul story? Logan was banned from the platform in 2018 after uploading a video of himself in a Japanese forest known for its high rate of let's say, people taking their own lives. While Paul was wandering through the area, he filmed a dead body of a person that had hung themselves from a tree. According to an article in New York Magazine, Logan actually says in the video, depression and mental illness are not a joke. We came here with an intent to focus on the haunted aspect of the forest. But the fact that he tried to mask this dumb stunt with some sort of disclaimer that it was actually for a video on mental health just left people even more outraged and it took a long time for him to make that return. Honestly, didn't think he was coming back. Last but certainly least in our number one spot, Onision. His real name is Gregory Jackson, and he started his YouTube page under the name Onision back in 2006. He was amongst the first wave of people uploading to the platform and building a loyal audience as a result. But by 2012, he was being banned by YouTube's VidCon for some terrible remarks that he had made about his ex-girlfriend online. His behavior in videos following became more and more disturbing, even filming a woman that was having a mental breakdown. You know, instead of helping her like a normal person. Onision also allegedly engaged in misconduct involving minors as well. Just so many shady things about this guy and I'm actually quite stunned that he hasn't spent a long time in jail. He's still, still on YouTube, he's still on Twitter, it's just strange returns, good and bad throughout this list. But either way guys, that has been the top 10 YouTubers we never thought would return. But before we get out of here, I'm gonna check out some of your comments from the video titled, Britney Spears' mother defends ending conservatorship. And says, at this point, I think we should just make a GoFundMe and pay the judge to free Britney because it's all about money to them. Hashtag free Britney. I mean, it's sad, but it's true, right? Like if you look at anything, the root of it is either selfishness or money. For real. Renee P says, oh whoa, you mean the queen is only nine years older than myself? This shop world that makes me rethink everything. It's so strange too when we put an age on celebrity figures because they do seem timeless. Like how old is Tom Cruise? Do we know? Does anyone know? I don't even think Tom knows. Symphony Hart says, nice haircut. I hope Britney Spears gets her freedom. Her father is a monster. I like that you can compliment my haircut and call Britney Spears' father a monster in the same sentence. What a world we're living in. Ava Higgins says, my ex's aunt has conservatorship. She takes major advantage of it. Every conservatorship I've heard of never sounds like a good deal. Where's Amanda Bynes? Can someone check in on her? Kristen Lepore says, Lynn literally had 13 years to do this. People have been saying that, like that they don't defend Lynn and that she she had so long to do this and she's saving face, but like try to try to put yourself in her shoes and your your crazy ex-husband is controlling your daughter and every time you want to speak out, you're terrified. Like it's gotta be terrifying to be a woman in this world. And it's gotta be terrifying to be Lynn Spears with fans yelling at them, or your ex yelling at them. I 
Either way, if someone is defending Britney, we should immediately pull them in and be like, thank you. We shouldn't yell back at the people that are now defending her. Let's let's stop that. By the way, guys, that has been today's top 10, though. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try. <laughs>